Hey, Savvy friends. Today is day 14 of our 14 days of love, our last day, and we have one final project to make together. I'll be showing you how to make a very fun card using that Gigum uh, Country DSP, and I hope that you guys just love all the little details of this card. Go ahead and hold my flip, and we'll get started. Okay, let me just press this down without making too much crazy movement. Let's see. Sorry, you guys. I thought my phone was secure, and I feel like it's just a little bit weird. So, you guys just might get a little bit of an edge today in my top of my desk. One second. And I apologize for all of the shadows. Again, we have to have the lights on because it is so cloudy today. We just haven't had cloudy days let me go ahead and turn off the light and see if it makes a, it look any better you guys will have to let me know and then see if you can notice the oops in this card okay is that too dark maybe it's okay at least we don't have as many shadows we'll keep it that way but I want to show you how sad I was somehow Something wet got onto this card and made it run a little bit. You can see where it's like a drop here and a drop there. I have no idea what it was, but I don't want to waste this. So we will make a fun band-aid for this one and fix it as I show you how to make the other one as well. This is your last project, so it should be easy to find. It's that petal pink is our card base, and there's lots of pieces inside this one. Should look like something like that. Um, what we need to do first is our stamping. So you'll grab out this bigger basic white, this medium size um, basic white rectangle, the heart and the leaves. Grab your foam mat and get that in view. And we can get stamping. Okay, first we're gonna use our um, just one to say for our greeting here. And we're going to use our Sweet Sorbet ink for that one. Open it up. Then I'm going to grab also a piece of basic white strip to make our band-aid for this card as well. Let me cut it down so it's not as bulky. There we go. I don't know about you, but I get a lot of these kinds of pieces of basic white when I um, cut down my basic white to put the inside of a card. Okay, so we have the Just Wanted to Say... You want this to be about the middle of that basic white there. Put it right about here and press down. That looks pretty good. Let's do another one on our Band-Aid one. Right about there, just trying to make sure I get it straight. It's really cold in my home today, and so I feel like my hands are super uh, cold and shaky, so I apologize for that. Keep that ink out. Let's grab our heart. Remember, for stamping on a punched out heart, we're going to have the larger side on the left for our heart there. And you know what? I actually forgot this heart. That's so funny. We'll grab it out of our stamp case real quick right there and just grab a clear block to attach it. I usually have them all set aside ready to go, but I forgot to put this one on the block. All right, it's ready now. So we'll ink that up, same color, hover over. Hopefully I'm not too shaky. There we go. So cute, I love that. The cute little outline there. All right, so we have these three ready to go. Now we need to put this ink away and we're going to stamp. Um, our mossy meadow. Grab your mossy meadow ink, open it up. And we're gonna grab our cute little, I wanna call this like a branch. So in this one, there's like a branch and a sprig, or they can both look very similar. So one has littler um, leaves and one has more branchy leaves. That one almost looks like a heart shape there, which is super cute. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and ink this up twice onto this basic white. There's no rhyme or reason because these are going to be fussy cut out. So we'll have one right there. 
just as long as they fit. And I'll do one on the other end right here. Okay. Go ahead and put that ink away. I'm going to grab our mint macaroon. Looks like that. For our leaves. Ideally, it's easier to punch, to stamp these leaves first, then punch them out. But we're not going to do things easy today, right? <laughs> if you wanted to, you honestly could just like drag it in your ink and get the whole thing that color. Or I could have just punched out the leaves in that mint macaron um, color instead of basic white. But we're going to make it interesting, right? Right. Let's grab our hearts. Or sorry, our leaves. And you'll tell on the leaf that it has, it, one side has a pointy side and one has more of a rounded end. So I put all the rounded ends up. Let's see if that looks like a good match. Nope, it's gonna be. Okay, looks like I have two of each. So what we're gonna do, these are my first two that match. You can see one's a little bit larger than the other. So I'm gonna, do our first one here and all i'm going to do is just ink that one up all by itself we're not going to ink both of them at the same time it's easier just to work one at a time get it nicely inked hover it over press down and we have one of our leaves again just inking on the edge press down release there we go flip it over now we're going to do our littler leaf Line it up over it. I feel like it's easier to stamp on this foam mat because it's that darker color and versus like on my grid sheet here because the white might get lost in the white and it'll be hard to line it up. So make sure you have a dark surface when you're doing these matching of punches to stamps. Okay, super cute. The last thing we have to stamp is actually the card base. Let me grab that in. Doesn't matter which side, as long as you know which way to flip it when you're doing it. Open up your petal pink, get your petal pink ink, and it's up to you if you want to do some stamping off or stamp it um, full on. So I did a little bit of both on mine. So let me show you the difference. It's very faint right here when I have it stamped off versus the full on. So it's up to you if you want to do a mixture of it or have it all stamped off so it's very faint and more of a background i think i'm going to stamp off every single time for this one and see how that turns out so i have my scrap of post-it note that i'm going to head and use here's my really cute it's like a floral bunch with little hearts and leaves this is a really cute one i think by this stamp when we use it today it'll be, we've used all of the stamps in our 14 days of love and it's okay if you go a little bit over, you're not gonna see the center. So don't worry about stamping anywhere there, but just turn this stamp as you go along. So that way you're seeing different parts of it. The main spots we're gonna see will be here on the edge, on the side edges, sorry, not the top and bottom edge. Okay, I think I stamped that one off. Ooh, let's find out. Yeah, okay, stamp off. Just a little bit there. So it's going to be super, super light. Create more of a background versus a floral. You see me all the way. Okay. Looks very romantic, let me tell you. Very soft looking. And that should be it for our stamping for this card. The last is just assembling and gluing. There we go. So, so light. Okay. Set those over. Let's go ahead and do our fussy cutting of these pieces here. So I want to just trim this one down. I'm going to go at an angle to fix my, my band-aid oops for this one. And we'll go right about there. I'm going to put some dimensionals on the back. Let me see what I have. For these smaller pieces. I really do like the mini dimensionals for it because it's just the right size. I feel I don't worry about it going over, but my mini dimensionals are almost gone. So I'm just doing cutting around my sheet itself. 
And I could lay this flat and that would totally work too, but I wanna make it look like I planned it this way and not it didn't get ruined with a little bit of something. I wanna have enough of that basic white. Let me get this closer so you see again. So I'm gonna just sneak it underneath there and make sure I'm covering all of the oops, but not covering my embellishment there. Okay, there we go. Totally fix it, right? No one will know. No one will know. But you and me. <laughs> All right, now we can do some fussy cutting. Um, grab your paper snips and just start going around our little mossy meadow branches here. Get it as close as you want. It's up to you. Turn your paper, not your scissors. See, I'm keeping my scissors pointing to the top of my paper this whole time. A couple times you'll see me just do a little little wiggle move there but for the most part I am not moving my scissors. There's one. There's our next one and hopefully this piece of paper is at a good size so that way you can hold on to it with ease. I know we didn't need as much of this paper but it's easier to fussy cut when you can hand, hold on to something. So hopefully you guys are feeling that as well. And I like to have the rounded edges instead of a straight edge to just complement the roundness of the branch itself. Okay, there we go. Okay, let's get some of our DSP out. And we're gonna start the gluing process to create this really cool country gigum background. So figure out which way you want it to go. Let me get my photo, my card back in so you can see. I have it where it starts with the blue in the center. I do my two reds in the outside, my pinks next to the center, and then my greens at the very end and on the top. So let me find all of my pieces so that way we know which way to go. And then these will have some a little bit of overage, and you can trim it down as needed. So it's okay if you're like, wait a minute, this isn't this isn't fitting right. That's okay. We will do some trimming. Okay, then we have my pinks next to this guy, and then my greens. Okay, so we're going to start with our outside pieces first. I'm going to set these down so I know I have them ready. And I'm using my handy dandy liquid glue. You could have guessed it. Just put a little bit on there. A quick flip, line it up. Again, you'll have some some places to cut off, so it's okay. We did that on purpose. So maybe don't put adhesive on the top if you know that top part is gonna hang over. We just don't want any of the whites showing through, so make sure we go on that very edge. Then let's grab this um, balmy blue one. And you can now use your grid sheet if you want to find what exactly the middle is. I'm gonna kind of eyeball it. I can even go like this. So let me look at this paper. This is measuring at four and a half. So if I were to go at two and a quarter, that would be my center for this one. Gives you kind of a, a rough idea, but I honestly will just eyeball it. Okay, next we'll do the two pinks right next to that balmy blue. A little bit of glue, go in the center so it can squish out. And you can overlap it just a little bit if you want, or go as close as you want. I'm gonna do just a little bit of overlapping because our last one will have a lot of overlapping. Our last two. Put those face down, one strip of glue, and line it up. If you don't like to be a perfectionist or have things go straight, you can make these go crooked and that would be really cute as well. Kind of at an angle instead of straight up and down. That's totally up to you. I'm keeping it straight today. Cute. I thought we created this really cool background piece. With those strips of DSP, this is a great way to use up those scraps you have. And now you, I flip it over and you can see how I have a little bit longer. So all we have to do is take our paper snips or your paper trimmer, it depends on what you like to work with the best. 
You might have to clean your paper snips after you do this though, if there's glue on that top part. So just be mindful of that. And there we go. Okay, let's go ahead and glue this to our card base. Let me grab my bone folder because I feel like this is a floppy, a floppy card. I don't want my card to be floppy. I want it to lay flat. Just easier to work with and it ships nicely that way. Grab your liquid glue, put on the back of here. Flip it over and hover it over. Like I said, the tops and bottoms will be a thin border and then a little thicker border on your left and right. There we go. Next, let's go ahead and glue on our, just wanted to say, to our balmy blue here. How we're gonna do this one is that we're gonna have it um, centered and coming off on the top. So create a border on, on each side. I'm gonna grab just a little bit of my Seal Plus, my double-sided adhesive, and then I'm going to eyeball it before I put it down, make sure it's where I want it to be. Having that top um, above the balmy blue. Okay, flip it over, grab your dimensionals, add these to it. You want this to be pretty good, so I'm gonna put some on the basic white as well. Remove the backings, flip it over. And I'm gonna have it go off on my side. So I'm gonna have it go past my gigum just a little bit with that balmy blue. And it's not quite center, it's a little bit below half. So I want it to be more of the gigum on the top than the bottom. You can kind of see the spacing there. Okay, next let's get ready to attach those um, leaves to our cute heart here and our fun um, little branches. Let me make sure, yep, yeah, we did some some gluing there. Okay, here's our heart. What I like to do, to be honest, is put a little bit of the double-sided adhesive here. So just be careful. You put it on, on the bottom and the top, and we're gonna play with it. I'm gonna hold it with one, grab our leaves, grab a, a small and a big one, and it's up to you if you wanna have a pointy side or the rounded side for yours. So I put a little bit too much of this, the seal and it goes over. So I'm just gonna use my finger to have it go um, back to the back side. So I'll put this guy right here with his, his bigger friend next to him. And I like to have it facing me so I can see how it's looking. Okay, so you have those two leaves on. Let's add those bottom leaves. We'll put our big leaf on first, coming off from the side here. And then we'll do our smaller leaf right next to it. Careful that your hands don't get too stuck to everything. There we go. Then let's grab, we might need some, oh, we still have some adhesive there. We'll grab our branch here and just add it in next to our cluster of hearts and leaves and our final crazy one here. And I feel like there's not enough adhesive, so I'm gonna go over my leaves a little bit, flip it back over, and then we can attach that one there. Cute, cute, cute. Now we're gonna attach this whole thing with dimensionals. It looks like um, a hot mess on the back, <laughs> but that's okay. And I'm even going over what I just put on there so that way it is secure for sure, even though we have that seal underneath it as well. Okay, now we're gonna just find the placement on here where we want it so that's not covering up our words, but it's a, a little bit on the paper, kind of both on there, looking good. And next we need to grab our heart and some linen thread. I feel like this one I might need to put down with a dimensional, but we'll let it flop up for just a little bit. Okay, let's grab some linen thread right here and make a bow. So this one could either be a fake bow or a real bow, it's up to you, but I want it to be pretty floppy. 
a fake bow just doesn't have a knot to it, which means it's easier sometimes to hide behind pieces like of paper, so it's not as bulky. But because this is um, already pretty layered with dimensionals, I'm not too worried about it being too bulky. Okay, so that looks like about the size I want. And we'll trim that down. And I'm just gonna attach this to the back of my heart, right where that knot is. You can do a couple of things. You can use a glue dot or you can use your stamping seal. I don't suggest liquid glue. It just takes a little bit too much time to dry. So we'll put our bow right there. See how cute. Oh my goodness, that looks so cute. So cute. Then we'll grab our dimensional on the back of that to attach it. So it's going to have it even more secure. Flip it over. Add it to our hearts right there. Cut those as you want, but I kind of like it really big and floppy on this one. This one has all the layers and all the pieces. And lastly, we just need to do some embellishing. So I'm using those blue shade of color for those pastel sequins. Grab both sizes, the big and the small. I usually will do one big, two small, but it's up to you. And I usually go in a triangle like angles. These ones I'm going to have them clustered kind of together and then I'm going to put one more small one but I don't want it to line up so it's going to be in between these two. So I'm going to go straight above and have it like that. So it creates kind of a cool looking triangle where nothing is lined up the same. And there you go. Isn't that so pretty? So much layering and pieces and detail that I just just love this one and I love the saying just wanted to say and I'm going to leave it blank so that way you guys can decide what you just want to say for this card um this one again doesn't have to be Valentine's Day I know I saved it for the very end so I was like oh am I risking it so that way you guys can't use it today if you don't make it in time no you can still use this for many other things if someone that you visit with um your grandma your aunt anyone that you just want to say something to and let them know that you love them. Um, this is the perfect card for it. All right, you guys, I hope you had a wonderful time with my 14 days of love. I'm so sad and relieved at the same time. This is almost over. It's been lots of fun to be able to make these videos for you on a daily basis and to know that I've been thinking of you and hoping that you like each of these projects. So keep on sharing. You have until tomorrow morning, um, the 15th to share your final creations and I'll do our Facebook drawing where there'll be one lucky winner of our grand prize for this this fun stamp camp we've been able to do. All right you guys have a great great day. Happy Valentine's Day and happy stamping everyone. Goodbye.